Hey, Jabril uh, Brooks from The Advocate. Um, curious with the, the run game at LSU. I mean, you see them in practice so often between, you know, Ty Davis-Price and John Emery. What do you see from them, and what's it like facing them and practicing their skills? Yeah, I see a lot of young guys that are hard runners. Uh, we've been facing them all through practice, and they got they were able to show that on Saturday of what they were capable of doing. Uh, John, Ty, and Chris, those are two amazing backs that we practice every day against, and they're just showing what the people that, what we've been seeing all through practice in fall camp. Hey, Jabril, I mean, y'all obviously played much better defensively in South Carolina than you had, but Ed was talking about how y'all still need to continue getting better. Where do you see this defense how it needs to, where does it continue to need to go? Yeah, the sky's the limit for this defense. Uh, I think mostly it's about small assignments, our eyes, uh, where we're looking at. A lot of the times we're looking in the backfield and not in our man. So that's one of the things that we just have to keep preaching each week. Uh, but other than that, uh, we've been trying to dial in on the communication parts of it, and we did a pretty good job of that uh, last week. And then one of those defenders who you're playing alongside Eli Ricks already has three interceptions on his freshman year. Did y'all see anything that would indicate this kind of production during fall camp, or is this something that's sort of come on recently? Yes, Eli, he's a competitive guy by nature. Uh, you can see him even after practice, he's getting in extra work. So just having him have those three interceptions already, uh, it's just a testament to his hard work that he's been putting in after and before practice. Hey, Jabril, um, obviously, you know, you guys played a, a very similar style offense a couple weeks ago in Missouri. I'm just curious, from the film study you did on Missouri and then the film study you're doing uh, for, for Auburn, just kind of how similar are these offenses and just what, what makes maybe Auburn's offense a, a little bit different? Yeah, it's a lot of similar play style. Um, Auburn, they do a lot of belly zone read, and they like to lean on the run game a lot more. Uh, they have a couple good receivers on the outside, a couple fast ones. But uh, these past couple weeks, there's been a couple similar play styles. And we all know that it's a copycat league, so they're going to try to pull some things from last week that we missed on. So we just have to prepare for that. Hey, Jabril Brooks again. I mean, you were talking about, you know, defensive improvements. And I'm curious, maybe you could help us understand a little bit, uh, you know, what linebackers see. I mean, is it – is it reading throughout, uh, I don't know, the play where you, you're free to roam or do you have like a gap sometimes? I mean, what what are those parts that I don't know, maybe you could explain to us that you know you, that, that you guys are improving on there? Yeah, for the linebacker part of it, uh, our reads are mostly from the running back to the tight end to the guard tackle. So we have to read and it's kind of like a triangle. So just uh, getting our eyes right and then when we see one thing, we have to move to the next. And it's just communicating between both of us on if we're switching between the running back and tight end, if we're playing man or if we're playing zone, who do we pass off? So uh, just trying to get better each week in that is something that me, Damone, and Micah, we've been working on. Hey, Jabril, uh, Jacques from WAFB uh, TV in Baton Rouge. Would you say that Bo Nix is the best scrambler you guys have faced so far in terms of being a dangerous runner if the pocket breaks down? and? And what kind of challenge does that present for you guys this week? Yes, he's definitely an athlete, um, scrambling-wise. Uh, we'll have to do more research on that because there's a couple other good quarterbacks within this league that are pretty athletic as well, but he's up there with them. Uh, we just know that if we do our part and control our gaps, uh, we, we'll be able to contain him. Hey, Jabrillian, I know you mentioned uh, Damone a little bit. I mean, just, just talk about maybe his last couple of weeks. I know it hasn't been always as consistent as he probably would have hoped for. Just just what have you seen from him, I guess, in preparation and then uh, on the field these last couple of weeks and, and some areas maybe he can continue to improve on? Yeah, this is all, this is all, <laughs> this is all part of the game. Um, Damone, he's a smart young player. But uh, a couple, couple past weeks, uh, it's been a couple of eye violations that he's been having. But... Uh, these next weeks, uh, we, we're just going to keep working and working hard and just trying to shoot gaps like we've been, like we did last week and improve on that. Any other questions for Jabril? Thank you, Jabril.
Thank you.